those who become are those who never settle. They know that there is always a better and greater version. Believers, in times of adversity, remember to anchor your faith in God's unwavering love and promises. Trust in his divine plan and find strength in his presence. May this message serve as a source of encouragement and reaffirm your unshakable relationship with him. Remain blessed as you listen. Principles of relationships. Are you ready? Practice forgiveness. Write it down. The Bible says, And be ye kind one to another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, hath forgiven you. Can I tell you this? Anybody who tells you forgiveness is easy is lying. Anybody who tells you forgiveness is easy has not been offended in this life. There are people who are too innocent to, forg to, to understand this teaching this night. <laughs> Nothing has happened in their life. They've been shielded by so many people. Forgiveness is a kind of giving. And you see, the thing about forgiveness is when you forgive, you don't help the one you are forgiving. You help yourself. It is true. Bitterness and offense is like piercing yourself with a knife and holding it there. Bitterness and offense is like drinking poison and expecting another person to die. You keep gulping poison and watch. You are not dead. Let me drink another one. You are not dead. Let me drink another one. Are you learning? Practice forgiveness. Luke chapter 6 and verse 37. Let's hurry up. Luke 6, 37. Kilamando saprakatuziata principles of relationships it says judge not and ye shall not be judged condemn not and ye shall not be condemned forgive and ye shall be forgiven did you know that the people who have it hardest to forgive are the ones who are even in greater need of forgiveness is that true you will never be able to excel having profitable relationships and profitable associations. You will never be able to live with anybody, any organization, any friends at all if you do not practice forgiveness. There are families that have siblings that are like Tom and Jerry, cats and dogs. It is possible that there are couples here listening and here in Koinonia they don't talk to one another when it's time to sleep everybody just goes to their side of the bed just jumps there and everybody is talking to god two of them this one is saying lord i thank you you are my god and he's saying it in a way that pains the other person lord if i depend on men will, will i ever rise thank you for your back come on listen this is the night when you go back home and swallow your pride tonight come to the school of the spirit don't you know in his hands are the keys to eternal life it's a little here a little there and then your day will down he's at work in you changing everything in obedience listen can i tell you this if you don't practice saying i am sorry you will never be able to excel in this life nations have gone to war today simply because someone was too proud to say i'm sorry i'm sorry does not kill i'm sorry simply means i am better today than i was yesterday are we together there are people who have lost jobs today simply because they could not say i am sorry there are people who have lost profitable relationships business relationships they have been driven from companies today because they could not say i am sorry let me teach you something do not allow your spiritual growth to make for an occasion where you cannot say i'm sorry there are parents that need to say i'm sorry to their children 
don't be ashamed it does not stop you from being a father or mother there are children who need to say i'm sorry if a man pays your school fees and you come back with a result that is an evil report why should he not quarrel you <laughs> now you get angry and you are not contributing anything i'm sorry has sent nations to go for war there are people today politicians including men of god there are people today who cannot see eyeball to eyeball i am sorry the pride of man is beyond comprehension is someone learning yeah you must as a principle practice forgiveness remember that forgiveness is a kind of giving apostle you don't know me i'm cool but if anybody annoys me it's an attack we've been holding miracle services here we've asked that people write their prayer request why do you think we kneel down and pray on these things see i'm saying this to you so that i i trust god that god will help us to live such an excelling life in truth i will tell you it's easier said than done this is why we need the holy spirit are we together maybe there is a couple that need to go back home tonight and say look let's stop this thing this is one year of this childishness let's sit down the man is waiting for the woman to take the step i paid your bride price the woman is waiting for the man to take the step you are the one who came to ask me you see provided this kind of self keeps happening god in heaven who created us is not ashamed to come and say i have loved you with an everlasting love i have drawn you with my loving kindness self is a terrible thing it can recycle seasons of pain again and again and again there are people who stole from factories and were sent away and just the unashamedness to go back and say look i really am sorry this is it i i take responsibility there are politicians respectfully speaking who have maybe in time past i hope not presently so have stolen money from the and i'm sorry and a sense of responsibility no sir practice forgiveness some of you are even offended with god right now god i don't know how you want us to pray again i've prayed everything you want one day or there i wish you you could read some of the text messages people sent me since they cannot see god you who have said you are representing him they carry that aggression that since he didn't reach the throne room they bring it and land it on you they can write something like apostle good evening i'm tired i don't know that, 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 that and this and that and that i'm offended since god hears you talk to him that i'm and you know what now imagine that i see that and i call the person i say see don't think because i'm preaching quiet no see our world interprets a life of aggression as masculinity by masculinity i don't just mean it to males when you are cool-headed and you are temperate the world looks at you as a weak person they like people who are aggressive you are a you are you are, you are almost like i don't want to use the expression a freedom fighter because uh, you know and it looks like you you are somebody who fights to the end and people say that's right can i tell you in this kingdom learn from jesus learn from jesus there are times when you are strongest when you look weakest yes sir yes sir and when you are strong and you can bring your strength under control you are strong indeed i know a gentleman many years ago he used to be a builder and then he fights boxing i think they have a license you don't fight outside the ring there there's there are some rules that they have and one time you know he had a problem with this bike man and the guy the bike man so he told me was just shouting and said don't think because you are big i can be and, and he looked at him and said oh dear i mean look at this, look at this look at this guy <laughs> can i tell you when you have the power to do so much 
and you can restrain yourself you are you deserve an applause by the whole world indeed for the dexterity and the excellency of your maturity god had the power to call ten thousand angels and yet he was led like a sheep to the slaughter you could imagine satan and the roman government saying finally we brought this man to his knees this was the lion of the tribe of judah the root of david looking so weak had bled and looked very weak let me tell you this fear weak people it was weakness that killed strength on the cross when you see people look weak or act weak towards you it's not that they're incapacitated is that they are walking based on a higher level of light and intelligence by this some of you need to go to your office tomorrow and stop that petty fight and you know some of these things that is almost rubbishing your pedigree no buy a gift and go and give the person and the woman is saying no there must be charm in this gift you will think she will say thank you no i don't trust this person go and throw it no problem as for me i've made up my mind that i will live a peaceful life a peaceful life is a goal that you can set and live a peaceful life within the times that you have serving the purposes of the kingdom and I challenge you, my proposal to you is that you rise to a higher realm of living. There is a superior realm of living above and beyond the grips of this kind of mediocre living. There is, there is living with excellence and this is the key.